Hello there, Schoology users. This is Ms. Hurst again. And today we're in week one, navigation and basic setup of Zero to Hero Schoology. And we're going over what are updates. Material-wise today, you just need something good to say. So, without further ado, let's get started. Hello there, Schoology users. Today we're going to be going through how am I going to work with updates and what on earth are they. So, I hope this series has been helpful so far. Let's get started. If we take a look here on our main screen, you'll notice that we have these updates here. And it says post, update, assignment, event, and more. When you click on it, you can see what's there. So today we're going to be doing updates, and I'm going to show you two ways to add an update. Now there's a nice feature that we can use here a little bit later to hack and add more things to these updates. That's a bit advanced for today, so we're just starting with the basics. In Schoology, you have this text editor box here. Obvious things show up if you highlight, and you just see what each item does. You have spell check as usual. You have limited options here on what you can do for size and for things that you can put in. Math teachers, if you're looking to put something in. Chemistry teachers, you can always use symbol and equation. That'll let you write in latex. And then this is going to remove the formatting. Now, once you have something to say, so let's say, welcome class, please check the board for your assignment today. There we go. That's going to be my update. Now, I can add a file if I want to. All I have to do is click on this, and it's going to pop up with all the things on my computer, and I can pick something. It has link if I want the students to be linked to somewhere and go check something out. This is resource, which we talked about resources, but we haven't gone into those yet. So we're going to hold off. If you want to play with that, feel free and pull. So I'm going to add a pull. How are you feeling today? And you can put your items. So previously I had a, do you want to meet up as a class? Hence why that autofill is there. But let's say good, bad, and meh. So there we go. Now, once I have this ready, I can choose where I'm going to post it to. And I always click this little arrow here and you can pick things. You can post on your personal profile or in your courses. So typically when I post something, I'm going to post it to all of my classes by clicking this button here because I tend to link my things. But if not, I'm just going to click one because we're going to actually do another one in section two. So select, there's the class it's going into, and all I have to do is hit post. Done. Now, where's that going to show up for students? Well, when they log in on this page right here, if it's set to be their recent activity as their initial page, they're going to see it right here, but they're also going to see all of their other teachers' updates. And if they have a lot of teachers, they're going to see a lot of things there. So let's go to our Algebra 2 and see where they would see it here. So I can go here to Updates on the left, and it would be there. Now, you may choose to set your course up so that this is the first thing that they see. If you're going to do that, you're going to go into Course Options, and you're going to edit the Privacy and Course Settings. When you scroll down to the bottom, it's going to say Default Landing Page. So if your plan is to use that update feature often and to give you know, continuous updates, tell them what's going on, you want to make Updates your default landing page. Personally, I use a Bitmoji Classroom as an announcement, so I always make my default materials. Updates are useful, and students will get a push notification to their course if they have that enabled. Now, let's talk the second way we can do an update, and if you haven't figured it out, it's from inside the course. If I'm going to do that, I have this button here that says Updates, and I can type what I would like. So again, I'm going to type, please check the board for today's assignment. And I'm not going to add a pool. 
but you might notice there's some differences here. I have all the same buttons across the top, but now I have this little button here that says copy. When I click that, it's going to let me send this to any course I teach, not just Algebra 2's. So if I had another course called Geometry or Precalculus, I could send it there as well. When I add that, it will go to those courses. You'll also notice that next to the post we have this little item here. This little box creates something called an announcement. That's what this bell does. What it's going to do is when students come to your page, this is always going to be at the top. And this is actually the catch behind the whole Bitmoji classroom or just general navigation center classrooms that we have seen at the top of these pages in the most recent months. So I'm going to click that just so you can see where this shows up. I'm going to hit post. And here it is. But if I go to materials, you'll see at the very top, it now says announcement. Please check the board for today's assignment. So updates can be a really useful feature. When they turn into announcements, it can get really fancy, and we're going to explore that in the coming weeks. I hope this helps, guys, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.